arts center of East Brunswick and to the East Brunswick His Historical Society program. I first want to acknowledge a very special guest and attendee here today, because without her there wouldn't be a community arts center and there wouldn't be a historical society. She just celebrated her 100th birthday the other day, Estelle Goldsmith. He's Estelle is the, uh, we wish you a happy birthday and many more. She's been the founder of more organizations in this town than any, than any person. She's like the first lady of East Brunswick. We love you. Um, I, we, we have a really a special program today. Uh, but before we start the program, um, I just want to say something about our organizations presenting this program today, the Historical Society of which Estelle is co-founder uh, many years ago. Uh, we're a small organization. We're, we depend on dues, we depend on donations. Uh, anything you can do to help us in that regard, we'd appreciate it. Because uh, you need funding to pay for these programs. You know, they don't necessarily uh, are done for nothing. So uh, if you could help us with that, we'd appreciate it. Also. We have membership applications out at that front table. For any of you that are interested and have the time and have the love of history, the Historical Society is a great organization. Um, I've been a member a number of years now. My name is Howard Schmidt, by the way. I'm one of the officers at the club. Uh, it's been a very re rewarding experience. I can't tell you how much I've learned about history since I've been in this group, and we meet once a month. So we have. Uh, applications out there, you just have to fill it out and mail it in to the address on the form or you can leave them with me or with uh, any of the members of the society. We're always looking for new people to help us you know, continue to do the job we, we have to do to preserve the history of this town um, and in the, in the state of New Jersey as well. Okay, today we have something a little bit different for any of you that have attended our, our prior programs. This is going to be a program that combines music and history. Uh, and history and music have, have always been, you know, interconnected. You know, if you think about it, some of, some of the greatest music that's been written was written during some very important historical events. I mean, for example, Star Spangled Banner was written in the, in the heat of the War of 1812. And the Battle of the Republic was written during the Civil War. And there's count, countless instances of this. So we're going to celebrate both today, history and music. And in addition, keep your eyes on a slideshow that's going to be done at the same time um, as the um, music is being played. And uh, we have behind me, and I'm going to introduce them right now, uh, one of the top orchestras you've ever heard. They are outstanding. These are not a group of amateurs. They, this is a professional orchestra, 18-piece orchestra that's going to be playing for us today. So uh, I guess with, you know, without further ado, um, I hope you're in the mood for <laughs> some good music because this is the Highland Swing Orchestra.
thank you. And give yourselves a round of applause for coming out here to a concert on a Sunday afternoon. How important is that? We're the Highland Swing Orchestra from Highland Park, New Jersey. My name is Jeff Hortz, and they kind of make me do this thing while everybody finds their music. Uh, but we were sponsored by the Arts Commission, so we were kind of made possible by the town of Highland Park. They gave us our seed money. And today, we're being sponsored, as you know, by the East Brunswick Historical Society. So thank you, East Brunswick Historical Society. How many of you have never seen a big band before? Oh, that's good. It's different in Highland Park. Okay, a couple of you. Um, big band music was the dominant music in America from the 30s and the 1940s, and it kind of started out a little bit slow, but really built up the middle of the Depression, the darkest days of the Depression, the mid-1930s. People needed to be happy, they needed an escape, they went to the movies, the movies were inexpensive, and they also liked to go out and see big bands and dance and forget about rent and groceries and jobs and all that kind of stuff. And that went right through the 1930s and then kind of transitioned into sort of being the soundtrack that kind of rallied the troops for World War II, rallied the country for World War II. And In the Mood came out in 1940, so that was kind of one of those songs. Um, today we're going to give you a selection of music from the 1930s and the 1940s. And this next one was one of the ones that kind of started it off from 1929. It's a Fats Waller tune called Ain't Misbehavin'. Thanks very much. We're going to play a couple tunes for you here. This next one is a Henry Mancini tune. And then we're going to follow that with something that you probably all know, especially for this month. It's called April in Paris. It's East Brunswick, the better. But this is April in Paris. <laughs> Thank you. 
Kate Matinet. So thanks for coming out. That was April in Paris, of course, for the stay in the second. And um, this next one is from 1936. It's a samba. Oh, no, it's not a samba. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's from 1936. I can, only do, I can only do three things at once. So, yeah. This thing's called Caravan. Caravan. Much. That was Carolyn. We're going to play two more now. Um, this one's called Shiny Stoppings from 1956, done by the great Count Basie. Who knows about Count Basie? Right. Wasn't he from East Brunswick or somewhere nearby? Red Bank. Red Bank. He should have lived here. So, um, this one's by Count Basie. It's called Shiny Stockings, and then we're going to do another thing called Cute.
Kevin Davies on the drums. That's a big compliment for the drummer. It's the biggest. Um, we told you we had a surprise. Some of you may know, some of you may not. I don't know if it's in the program. But for the first time, we are going to, in a long time, we did way back in the beginning, um, we're going to have a vocalist. So how's that? This is Deborah Mendayan. Deborah, welcome. She's going to sing something you've probably heard before. It's called Fever. <laughs> from Cayman Lane. We're from Highland Park, New Jersey, and uh, we're very happy to be here at this uh, event that's sponsored by the East Brunswick Historical Society. Thank you, East Brunswick Historical Society. <laughs> now we're going to do the sample that I talked about before. <laughs> this one's a little bit newer. This one's from 1963. Um, it's called One Note Samba, and uh, it's a jazz samba. You might have known, might be familiar with the Stan Getz version of this thing. And then after that, we're going to do another from a different era. It's not a samba. So this is one note samba.
That was Sweet Georgia Brown. It's our favorite. Everybody's favorite. This next one's from 1945. Uh, who's heard of Bobby Darren? Oh. Bobby Darren? Do you know what it is? Do you know what the song is? This was recorded in 1945, but Bobby Darren had a huge hit with it in 1959. It's called Beyond the Sea. Bobby Darren's doing things to do here. This next one, you may know, it's a kind of a signature piece. It's called A Night in Tunisia, and it features Gavin Davies on drums. Once again, hey Gavin. Gavin. So it's a, tonight, a night, rather, a night in Tunisia this afternoon.
One of the things that happens in practice all the time, as I'm looking over my shoulder, is we, we have a couple jokers in our band, and uh, it's become such a part of practice that we've now incorporated it into our performances, because basically we can't play without, what, four <laughs> jokes? How about that? This is Paul, the bass trombonist, and he, he's got a joke for you. None of us knows what it is. <laughs> Family friendly. Okay. I'm man from Red Back, New Jersey. And here's a trivia question for you. One you already know the answer to. Can you name two composers that lived in Red Bank? Count Basie. You know who the other one is? John Philip Sousa. <laughs> nice, right where the library is today. Well, now it's time for the joke. This cop walking his beat, going by the park. And he's walking by the park. She says, old man, crying his eyes out. He says, old man, why are you crying? And the old man says, I have a beautiful 23-year-old wife. She loves me to death. She cooks for me. She cleans up after me. And the cop says, so why are you crying? Because I can't remember where I live. <laughs> Thank you, Paul. All right. Give yourselves a round of applause as well for coming out here for a matinee big band show and signing out the group. We've got a couple more that we're going <laughs> to... I didn't see that. So we're, we're officially doing music from the 30s to uh, about 1950, but this one was actually written in 1954. and. Um, as the U.S. space program took off around the mid-1960s, somebody by the name of Frank Sinatra, who started Frank Sinatra, had a hit with this in 1964. It's called Fly Me to the Moon. And then we're going to follow up with another that's called Begin the Begin. Two more. Fly Me to the Moon from 1964 is Frank Sinatra. Chip Michelle on the uh, saxophone, the tenor sax. Nelson yeah. yeah. does a lot of the hard work in keeping this band together. He never gets uptight. 
where he shows it. Anyway, this one's from 1935. It's also going to feature Melchi on the clarinet. We call poor to called Begin the Begin. So, thanks to all for coming out. As you know, we're the Highland Swing Orchestra from Highland Park, New Jersey. We always want to play somewhere, so uh, if you have an idea of a good place for us to play, come up after the show and convince us we'll be easy. <laughs> so this next one, which is our last tune, is called uh, Jersey Bounce. And it, it mentions a lot of places in New Jersey, including Jarvis Square and things like that. But also during World War II, I talked about before how some of these songs were used to to kind of rally the troops and everybody behind the war. People like to name bombers Jersey Bounce for some reason. And there were actually seven different ones that were named Jersey Bounce, many of whom did very well for the United States during World War II. Um, so it kind of has two different meanings. This is our last tune for this afternoon. Jersey Bounce. Thank you all for coming out. Give yourselves a round of applause. Thank you. Thanks very much. Jersey Bend.
Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Should we play one more? All right, we'll do one more. We're going to go a little bit out of our time period here. You know this song. I'm not going to. I'm not going to say it. It was a theme for a TV show that came out of Philadelphia. Remember? Yeah. Very good. Get an A. Wherever you are. All right. It's Man Stamp Boogie. Thanks for coming out. Thank you.